I'm here today to talk to you very briefly about bumblebees, my favourite subject. I've spent the last 30 years studying bumblebees. They are the, the most common of the wild bees in Britain. They're big and colourful and furry. They're enormously important ecologically. There's so many of our wildflowers that just simply wouldn't exist without bumblebees to pollinate them, things like foxgloves. And they're really important to us. They pollinate uh, things like strawberries and raspberries and runner beans and uh, broad beans and tomatoes. I bet you didn't know that almost every tomato you've ever eaten in your life was probably pollinated by a bumblebee. Also bumblebee nests are homes to a whole bunch of other creatures. Uh, there are various mites and wasps and flies and so on that live uh, inside bumblebee nests. More than a hundred species of other invertebrates are known to live in only in bumblebee nests, which is pretty cool. So they're really important creatures. And they need our help. Um, I could talk to you about how you might plant flowers for them, but if I just had to choose one simple thing you could do, it's actually something you could not do. You could not mow your lawn quite so often. I'm sitting in the middle of my lawn. As you can see, it hasn't been mown for quite some time. Um, it saves petrol, saves you time and effort, and most lawns, if you don't mow them, come into, in, into flower, come into life. There are usually clovers and trefoils and vetches and buttercups and dandelions and all sorts of lovely flowers in your lawn just waiting for a chance to flower. All you need to do is get rid of the mower or at least don't use it so often.